How's it going everyone? This is Ari from EB Games and in today's video, thanks to Razer, I've got two pretty amazing mice to show you. So on my left here, you've got Razer Basilisk V2 and the Razer Death Adder V2 here on my right. With these mice, Razer's just kind of gone super beast mode and they've gone and just upgraded to already kind of fan favorite mice, but also having packed them filled with some of the industry leading sensors that they're developing. But anyway, just cause I kind of want to nerd out about mouse specs, let's just get into it. So they've made a lot of changes with both of these mice for the version two, but they have still kept the rough overall shape that you're already used to if you've been using a Basilisk or a Death Adder in the past. Ergonomically, there's something that you're already gonna be used to. If you're one of the 10 million people that picked up the original Death Adder, you already know that this is something that you're comfortable with and it fits in your hand. Both of these do come with Razer Chroma RGB. So if you're someone that kind of just looks like a unicorn exploded, um, which, that's me. You're still gonna be able to fit any of these mice into the setup that you currently have. So I'm just gonna jump straight into where Razer went complete beast mode on these mice, which is the optical sensor and the optical switch. So Razer partnered with PixArt and developed the most accurate sensor on the market up to 99.6% accuracy. So just throwing some numbers at you real quick, the Focus Plus optical sensor can go up to 20,000 DPI or 20,000 dots per inch. Now, if you're just kind of rocking a standard computer mouse and you're on an FPS game, for example, having something that's 99.6% accurate means that there are so many less things in your way to actually just you doing the ability that you wanted to do. So on top of having one of the most accurate sensors on the market, they've then also gone and added what they call motion sync. So when your computer extracts information from a sensor or a periphery like your mouse, it does so at a certain rate that sometimes can be out of sync with the signals that the mouse is putting out. So having motion sync involved, your Basilisk V2 or your Death Adder V2 and your computer are just syncing up to make sure that you can finally hit ranked. All of that already is pretty insane. And that's also without talking about the Razer optical switch which they've put into these. There's so much involved in just getting the to your computer. That one click with these mice actually uses light speed. But with any other standard mechanical mouse, it works as a normal button. There's a mechanical process that goes on that closes the connection when you click down and when you release, it comes off. When that happens, there can be a button bounce or something that when the connection comes loose, there can be a minute wobble when it comes off. The quickest solution to fix that is a post-processing software that goes through and removes that signal that's kind of that wobble out from the mechanical switch to your computer to make sure that it's, yes, you clicked once, not three times. With this, it uses light speed. It's an infrared laser that hits through a sensor that when you're clicking, it's either blocking or letting through that light to let your computer know it's on, it's off. And then because you don't have to use any post-processing software to clean up that signal from your mouse to your computer, you end up with a Razer optical switch that is three times faster at registering that click than any other mechanical switch out there. It'll register your click in 0.2 milliseconds to your computer. With this optical switch as well, Razer has tested it up to 70 million clicks. And if you're sitting there wondering like how many clicks is that really in the lifespan, like I've Try and click your mouse 70 million times. You have 70 million options to do that ability, take that shot, or even just chuck something in your trash. So then this is where both of these mice get a little bit different into how they're gonna fit into your gaming life. So the Razer Death Adder V2 has got eight programmable buttons, and the Razer Basilisk V2 has got 11 programmable buttons. So passing this through Razer Synapse, you can then make any of these 11 or the eight programmable buttons on both of these mice work for you in whatever game you're playing. But we all kind of jump around into different games that we're playing. With both of these mice, there are five onboard memory profiles, meaning that the macro profiles that you've set for Call of Duty, League of Legends, CSGO, will then be on these mice wherever you go. So if you're going over to someone's house for a sick LAN party, on the bottom of these, you've got your profile button, but then you can cycle through any of the five onboard memory profiles. Profiles. So if you've used the Basilisk or the Death Adder in the past, they're very much the same positioning of the buttons on the V2 versions and the ones that you know already work. So you still have the two buttons on the left side of the Death Adder V2 and the two on the top as well as the scroll wheel. And then when you jump over to the Basilisk, obviously there's quite a few more buttons going on here. You've got the two main ones on the left hand side, two on the top, but your scroll wheel which can do a click to the left, click to the right, click down and then obviously up and down, as well as when you first get this out of the box, you might be wondering what this little thing here is. If you just remove this little rubber plug there, you can click in another paddle button on the side 
But I think by default changes your dots per inch. If you want to go to your current sensitivity down to something that's a little bit more slower, you can press it in, do your ability. This is also a programmable button, so you can program this to be any ability that you want to be in any game, and then save that into your memory profiles for later use. Now for me personally, on the Razer Basilisk V2, one of the most satisfying things, it's a scroll wheel resistance. On the bottom of the Basilisk, you got this little resistance scroll wheel. So you can bring it all the way up to more of a tactile scroll that you can really feel each click probably even hear that. This is great for a game that when you scroll, you cycle through weapons and abilities, but then if you're on a game that you're zooming in and out a lot, something where you want it to be a little bit more fluid, I love just how smooth it can go to. Just, it's just satisfying. Personally, with the 11 programmable buttons on the Basilisk, I think it's something really awesome for a game that's got a lot of abilities or something like an RPG game. I think the Death Adder V2 is also just an awesome all-rounder mouse that can fit into pretty much any game you're playing, especially connecting this to Razer Synapse and macroing all of these buttons to exactly how you want to play. But anyway, thanks so much for watching this video, everyone. Make sure to hit like if you liked the video, subscribe if you haven't. This was Ari from EB Games and I'll catch you next time.